Oh, we've got a beautiful 1969 Pontiac Firebird convertible, rotisserie restored. We have pictures right here. There'll be a few on our website, taken down to a bare shell and literally put on a rotisserie, flipped upside down, restored from the bottom up. It has a 400 motor, a four-speed trans. It has factory air conditioning, gauges, console, uh, all sorts of goodies. It's a good-looking car, isn't it? Go to volocars.com. That's where you can look at all the pictures top to bottom. Uh, that's where you can read the description. And you'll find a price tag along with an easy monthly payment as well. We also have a buy it now button. I strongly suggest you hit that button if you see something you really like. That just holds it for you while you're thinking about it so no one else can steal it out from under you. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. You'll be notified when the new ones are posted. But for right now, that tops down. Let's go for a spin. Yeah, the body and paint is beautiful on this car. Uh, it's got the 400 hood with the dual scoops. All fits and lines up real nice. This is absolutely straight. I don't see any issues. This is all straight. This all lines up nice, smooth, all the way at the bottom even. All the way down here, all clean and smooth. Shuts nice. All clean around the wheel well. Under the bottom is all really nice. Really nice, clean body. Fits real nice. It's straight. I don't see any rust or damage or shrinkage or body work at all. Uh, it's painted the original colors of Verduro green. I'm going to guess this is maybe a shade or two different. This is a better looking color than the Verduro green. This almost looks like a, a piece of candy. Uh, it's a nice deep metallic green, but when the light hits it, it comes alive. Uh, the metal flake is laid out evenly. It's all one color. It's all spread out real nice. And it has a wet looking clear coat finish. There is a hairline crack. It literally looks like a hair laying on the paint right there uh, from some, for some reason. Other than that, I mean, it's pretty darn nice. I didn't really notice anything. Oh, that, I think, wipes off. So like I always say, I'm sure there's a minor little flaw here or there, but the paint's very slick. All this front end, this all lines up really nicely, matches the hood right here real good. That all looks real sharp. Still looking at the paint. I'd like to tell you if there's any more flaws, but honestly don't see any. Beautiful color. So the emblems are new, the correct antenna looks new, the windshield's new, the wiper arms, the stainless trim, it all looks like it's been replaced. This outer piece is straight, but just has a little bit of surface wear on it. Door handles look new. The moldings will all look like they've been replaced. It's a white power convertible top that was replaced and restored. There's pictures on our website you can check out. Got the Pontiac. Uh, rear marker lights, I always thought that was cool. The bumper, the emblems, all that's really sharp looking. Rally two wheels are restored. Really bright polished uh, trim rings, the correct caps, even the correct Pontiac lug nuts. All the weather strips and window seals were replaced. It has the hood tachometer, you see that through the windshield. And then up front, the rubber seals, the headlight bezels, the grill, the bumper, all of this is in really uh, beautiful shape. So why don't we open it up, see what's inside this thing. All right, let's see inside the trunk. Ooh, got to get out of the way when you open that trunk. It is painted just as slick underneath here. It's got new stickers. The jam is slick and clear coated, new weather strip. So inside's all clean metal, has the collapsible spare tire with the jack assembly, has the uh, shaker cans in the corner. They're like a counterbalance that only the convertibles got. Uh, the well liner looks new. And these convertible tops, they were never the most fun to put on. If you take a couple extra minutes and put the top down properly, that boot will snap on there really nice. It's just kind of thrown on there last minute. Actually, we just took it out of the package. 
But what's cool, this is the pearl white interior. Now the jams are slick, weather strips are replaced, sill plates are shiny, but it's not just white, it's a pearl color. Um, new door panels. And it's a cool looking combination. So the Firebird has all the wood grain, it's all nice looking. Those are the gauges, not dummy lights. 160 mile an hour speedometer. There's a clock that's right twice a day. The heater control panel looks nice. The vent looks new. It's an AM FM radio. This is all painted real nice. The dash pad's in excellent shape. So all this looks really good. Nice kick panels, nice carpet, reproduction mats. There's a center console with the walnut shift knob, a hearse shifter. The seats are restored. They're new cushions. Upholstery is nice and tight. Headrests are new or redone. Backs of the seats, all one color. We don't have three different shades of white going on. I can't stand that. Got some brochures, an owner, a shop manual, seat belts for everybody. Uh, it's all upholstered back here, real nice as well. It's got a deluxe wheel and a tilt column. Car's got some options. Power top switch. And then uh, the mirror and the visors are new as well. So this is a correct uh, 19 dated a late 68 motor, which would be proper for this car. It's a 400, 350 horsepower motor, all stock, the manifolds, heads, valve covers. Uh, we have a picture of the carburetor. It's hiding under there. It's a restored quadrajet. The air cleaner assembly and the hoses, all that's there. Uh, it is a factory air conditioned car. Someone's done some work and compressor has been replaced. I did check our, our service records and they said the air is not working on the car, so it will need some attention. A Delco battery topper with the spring clamp cables, the cap, the shroud, all this looks really nice. Got power steering, got power brakes, that all looks new. Cadmium plated booster, wiper motor looks new, firewalls painted. All the metal surfaces are painted real nice and clean. Uh, squirters are hooked up, has the hood insulation, very nice motor. Oh, yeah, it's got a nice deep tone. Revs up nice and clean. I like how this sounds. Shifting those gears top down, listening to those exhaust notes. Sounds like fun. So I mentioned we do have a full shop facility. Every car gets driven, put on a lift, inspected, and uh, we make sure that they're good running, driving cars. What we did with this one. Uh, we replaced the starter, repaired the reverse lights, the horns, the headlights, the turn signals. It was all minor stuff. There was a bad ground, a bad bulb, things like that. Uh, but we took care of it. We replaced the wiper motor, uh, replaced the hood springs, apparently. Uh, some trim was loose on the quarter window, but it did say that the air conditioning would still need some service to be uh, fixed. So that's as far as we took it. Underneath the car, like I said, it was flipped on a rotisserie. Everything was removed. The floors are all solid metal, all nice and clean. They were prepped and sprayed with like a black uh, rubberized chip, chip guard paint. Uh, and then the subframe was painted, put back in. The whole front end was gone through. They've put in subframe connectors that ties the front to the back, especially in a convertible. It's nice to prevent the twisting and flexing. Uh, in back, it looks like the springs, shocks were replaced. New dual exhaust has stainless steel mufflers and tailpipes. Uh, disc brakes in front, drum in back. All looks new. E-brake cables, lines, hoses, all replaced. 
the fuel tank, the fuel lines, that was all replaced. You look up at the motor, it looks brand new. Um, same with the transmission. Uh, it's also a correct dated 1968 Muncie Trans. The linkage, the trans, all that just looks clean and fresh. It is a 12 volt uh, rear end in the back. Uh, so yeah, underneath is dialed in real nicely. Go to volocars.com. That's where the salesman can help answer your questions, including how to get it delivered to your door, how to get it financed. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon so you're notified when the next one's posted. Thanks for watching.